We've all been guilty of making bad solder joints on the battery and, and or ESC. I know I have. So I finally have a solution that makes soldering a snap. Hey, I'm Basil with Grayson Hobby, and today in my hands I have this little thing called an Easy Solder. Now, the Easy Solder looks like a gold bullet connectors, but they have a notch on one end, which, you, which allows you to slide the connector right onto the Dean's connector. This eliminates the soldering on that flat surface on the Dean's, which most people have difficulty, even the best. So if you can hold a pencil, you'll be able to solder on Dean's connectors on your batteries and ESCs in no time. So let's get started. Strip off a bit of wire, so about a quarter of an inch of the wire is exposed. Next, we are going to tin the bare wire. Tinning is simply applying solder to the bare end. Be sure to do both sides. Next, we're going to tin the easy connector. Apply the solder iron to the easy connector for two to three seconds. Then apply the solder to the cup part of the easy connector. Be sure not to overflow, less is more. Before we continue, we're gonna slide on some shrink to the battery. Be sure to move it as close as to the battery as possible, heating up the easy connector again until the solder you've just added turns back to a liquid. When it does, insert the pre-tinned wire we created in step one into the cup. Now keep the heat on the easy solder for about five seconds and wait and watch for the solder on both parts to melt and fuse together. After you see this, remove the heat and hold the wire still for one to two seconds while the liquid turns back into a solid. Give it a few seconds to cool. After it cools, give it a tug to be sure you have a good solder. Step five, assemble the Dean's connector. Now we do this to prevent the metal connectors from running. Now we've all been there when you hook up your battery to your ESC and the connections aren't lined up exactly right. Well, when you hook these up, you prevent the metal connectors from running and you'll keep it nice and straight and true. So after you do that, apply the solder iron to the joint for about five to six seconds. Then apply the solder to the connection. Do not touch the solder to the iron directly. Touch the solder to the joints. Don't over solder. A little goes a long way, especially with these easy solder connections. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. Step six. After the connection joint cools completely, give it a good tug. Then slide the shrink over the joint. Use a heat gun to shrink the heat and you're all done. So. This is Basil with Grayson Hobby signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make some great solder joints. Good luck, happy flying and happy soldering.